write the equation of the line that is tangent to the curve x squared minus 4x equals 2y at the point 2 and negative 4. Before you do that, you got to make sure if uh, this point on the curve or not. Let's see. But essential steps that you need to do before you take an action, which is uh, you separate, uh, separate y. That's first. So 2y equals x squared minus 4x. We divide both sides by 2. Then y equals, divide by 2, it's a half x squared. Divide negative 4x by 2 will be negative 2x. And that's one of the important steps that you need. Step 2 is to find the derivative. And in this case, it's easy to find the derivative because we already solved it for y. In some cases, sometimes you have like a implicit derivative that's you're gonna have like different strategy. We'll explain on next videos. So derivative of y with respect to x, we need it. Uh, derivative of half x is squared, you drop two, then two times a half is one, uh, and you put down x. And derivative of 2x is 2, so it will be x minus 2, the derivative of y with respect to x. So two important steps to do, separate y and find the derivative. Why? I will tell you why. Let's imagine how it looks like the curve and the point. So this is our curve. Let's Let's lock screen here. Let's lock it. Good. So uh, we are given this curve, which is a half x squared minus 2x. If you grab it, it will be a curve passes through 0 and 0 and 4 and 0. Uh, and we are given point, which is 2 and negative 4. 2 and negative 4 go down, and it looks like in here, around here. Yeah. Good. Uh, and we need to find uh, the tangent line equation. Uh, listen to that. Uh, you got to make sure if the point interior, like interior, if it's in here, of course, we don't have tangent line, any tangent line. But if it's out, exterior, we could have uh, two tangent lines here. So possible have two tangent line. Let's green it. Starting from this point, we'll do that here. That's tangent line to the right side. And another tangent line to the left side. So we have two tangent, two tangent lines. Hmm. Okay, at the point two and negative four, the given point. What else we need we need to do is to apply the linear equation. It's back, recall algebra one. When you had this equation, uh, y minus y one equals m times x minus x1. So we need to substitute for x1, and we need to substitute for y1, and we need to substitute for the slope, and we need to substitute for y. Yeah, make, make it all for x's. So first, we're going to do that here. So x, 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 x is x minus x1 is 2. Okay, and we have m, which is the slope. This is m here, which is x minus 2. And we have y1 from the point, it's negative 4, so minus negative 4 is positive 4. 
And also we substitute for y because I want to make it all for x's so I could solve it. So y as we separated it's a half x squared, a half x squared minus 2x. And now let's combine x minus 2 times x minus 2 is x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals a half x squared minus 2x plus 4. If you look at left and right, we could cancel 4 with 4. It's just we have a half x squared minus 2. This is 2. 2x equals x squared minus 4x. So multiply by 2 to get rid of any fraction. Uh, so a half times 2 is 1. So going to be x squared minus uh, times 2. 2x two times 2 is 4x equals x squared times 2 is 2x squared and negative 4x times 2 is negative 8x. Okay, we plan to make it for 0. So we subtract from both sides x squared on both sides and we add 4x to make it for 0, add 4x. So here we will have 2x squared minus x squared equals x squared and negative 4x plus 4x is negative 4x and of course x squared minus 4 minus x squared and 4x minus x is 0. Now we could factor, take x out and inside here x squared divided by x is x negative 4x divided by x is negative 4 equal it to 0 then we have x could be a 0 x equals 0 and x minus 4 when you equal it to 0 x equals 4 so you see we have like two gonna be like two solutions two tangent lines two things not just one thing As we got x, we need to got y before we go into the final step. We need y, y, if you plug it in, 0 here, 0 squared is 0, times a half is 0, minus 2 times 0 is 0, all will be 0, so y equals 0. And if you plug it in 4, 4 is square is 16, 16 times a half is 8, and 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0, so y will be 0. So the point of tangency here, we have 0 and 0 and 4 and 0. Something else, I want you to do it because you need it. The slope in both sides, in here and in here, the slope. So we come to the uh, equation of the derivative, it's x minus 2. We substitute for x and y. We don't have y here, we just have x. So 0, plug it in 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So dy with respect to x here equals uh, negative 2. And this is, you need it. And when we have x equals 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. So the derivative, a will be positive 2. So we have information here for both tangent lines. We have information. This is information one, x is zero, y is zero, derivative is negative two. And this is information two for the tangent line two. X is four, y is zero, derivative a is two. Now we'll come back again to the essential uh, equation the essential linear equation, which is y minus y1 equals x uh, m times x minus x1. On this case, we need to substitute for only x1, only y1, only the slope. Okay, so here 
uh, x and y, so this is 0. And y here is 0. And the slope is negative 2. So it will be y equals negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And this is the equation of the first tangent line. Equation 1. Now, equation 2, we're going to do the same. We're going to do the same, which is, let's make it in brown. I like brown color sometimes. We apply linear equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We substitute for x1, y1 and the slope m. x1 is 4, the slope is positive 2, m, and y1 is 0. So y minus 0 is y equals, we distribute 2 times x is 2x, minus 2 times 4 is 8, and this is the second equation the second equation of the tangent line. Before I close this, remember, remember, before I close, so we have two, two equations here, two tangent line equations. Before I close that, remember, if the point that you need to find the tangent line or write the tangent line, if the point on the curve, only we have one tangent line, only one. And we had done that before, in uh, different YouTubes, and I will increase uh, the amount of this YouTube because it's a very important topic. We'll have more YouTube videos on that. But if the point not on the curve, two possibilities here. One, if it's interior point, you don't have any tangent points. How do you know? I'll let you know in different videos. Okay. And exterior. How do you know exterior or interior? Without graphing, we'll tell you in different YouTube videos. Just follow me. If you have a point outside of the curve, exterior, so you're going to have two tangent lines. Thank you so much. I hope you understood and watch the next YouTube videos.